The aim of this experiment was to simulate carbon dioxide sequestration to recover oil from oil field injecting the CO2. CO2 capture and storage is an innovative technique to reduce carbon dioxide emission of industries in atmosphere. In fact, capturing CO2, it can be compressed and stored in porous trucks underground. It can be a solution of global warming because CO2 is one of the gas which causes the warming of the Earth. Not only industries cause global warming, in fact, even cars or volcanoes produce CO2. Volcanoes produce a small quantity of CO2, but cars can pollute atmosphere in large quantity. For that reason, cars in industries are now producing many vehicles powered by electric or LPG engines with zero CO2 emission. This experiment was useful to observe how oil can be extracted using CO2. In this case, oil was extracting using gas producing by the reaction of soda and vinegar. It can be hypothesized that the vinegar coming in contact with soda through a chemical reaction will produce a gas which will comprime oil that will flow out to be collected. If gas will have a low pressure, the oil will be collected. On the contrary, if pressure spills too low, oil cannot flow out. The apparatus was composed of a syringe without the needle, a spoon of soda, two glass containers, two two-hole stoppers, one collective tank, two glasses of water mixed with four drops of paint colorant, to rubber tubing a glass of vinegar To do this experiment, it was necessary to flow the soda in one of the two OLED containers and the colorated water in the other container To fill steering, emerging them in the vinegar and pushing out the piston. And to insert the two old stopper to close the beaker. After that, was inserted the syringe full of vinegar in a hole of the first stopper. Later, the longer tubing was immersed in the oil passing through the stopper and the other extremity was inserted in collective tank.
At the end, the first container with soda and the second were linked by a tube inserted with the two extremities in the two stoppers, and the extremities of the tubing were sealed with silicone. To start the experiment, it was necessary to eject the vinegar from the syringe compressing its piston. Immediately after, it was simple to observe that vinegar came in contact with soda and through a chemical reaction, gas was formed and it flowed in the first tube that was inserted in the oil container. The gas started to compress oil which flowed up through the immersed tube. and the experiment is to see but it is more difficult to extract oil by injecting carbon dioxide in oil bed than using this mi minimized method. In fact, in real life, the conditions of work are adverse and the areas of work are very extensive and a lot of engineers and geologists in the team have to study and elaborate all the details of the oil recovery. CO2 sequestration from industries is an important procedure, but some geologists think that collecting carbon dioxide underground is not a good idea because it can provoke damages in the future to the population which will live on Earth. For that, some engineers and geologists think that it would be better to close the industry which dispenses a lot of CO2 in the atmosphere and to start producing energy using solar panels or other new uh, renewable uh, energy sources which have not a, a negative impact with the life of humans or with nature. However, now the society needs a lot of energy and it cannot be produced completely by the alternative resources. For that reason, the oil recovery injecting CO2 is considered a good procedure and system which is used is similar to the experiment. It worked in accordance with the hypothesis and may be considered the best procedure to recover oil field, uh, from oil field which solves two problems at once.